Hey YouTubers, this is CG Hot Wheels with a new video. Well, end cases are finally hitting Publixes in the in the Sunshine State. Although today's an exception because it is a rainy day today, and uh, I just got back from finding a few end cases. Uh, my dad found a couple of them a couple days ago, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you my haul that I found today. Not a big haul, but bunch of new end case cars. I'm still looking for a few more, but I'm very satisfied with what I have. So, so without further ado, let's get started. So first off, we got the new color of the Porsche Carrera GT in yellow. And just a heads up, if you don't know already, this batch has a lot of repaints. So most of these cars that you're going to see are repaints. And here's one of them. Pretty nice, yellow. Better than the flat black one that they had. Next up, another yellow supercar, the McLaren P1. Very awesome. I like this one a lot. I love the detail. It's got the headlights, little McLaren badge, it's got the taillights, those very funky, very thin, curvy taillights with the metal wing. Pretty sweet. Love those rims too, the dark gray rims. Very cool. Also better than the blue one. This was for, this was released in blue this year. Next up, a new casting recolor on the 016 Ford Shelby GT350R in red. Pretty sweet. Sweetie sweet. Wish the headlights would have been done, at least. Taillights, well, they're slightly done, but they blend in with the paint of the car, so they can get away without doing the tampos. Oh, I just saw... Wow! Did you hear that? I bet you did. That was a big bolt of lightning with a big rumble of thunder. So that just shows that I'm not lying that it's a rainy, stormy day out. Wowzer. Caught me off guard. Okay, next up, got the custom Ford Bronco in blue. Another repaint. This was for, I think this was released in red this year. Now in blue. Pretty cool. Then I don't have the red one, but this one I like. It looks better in blue. Um, next up, another recolor of the 1985 Honda CRX in white. The molding is a little curved. See the lower bumper there has a little curve in it. But that that's, tip, that's common from Hot Wheels. They can't make it perfect every time. So and plus, it's very minor. You can hardly even notice it. Unless you go up close. And um, next up, we got a Corvette C7R in a Hot Wheels racing livery. This one is not the recolor. This is the... Uh, this is one of the very few exceptions that's not a recolor. But it's still nice. I mean, the recolors are nice. I'm not trying to badmouth it, but... It's just there's a lot, but this one is one that's not a recolor. Pretty cool. I like it. If only it didn't have the upslope chin there. That kind of ruins it. I remember that got a lot of hate last year. Uh, next up, we got another recolor on the new casting. 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car in black. Not cr crazy about the blue tint windows, and since the window piece is the same as the headlight and taillight piece, they're also blue. So it doesn't look very realistic. See that? I like the white one better, but on the whole, this is nice too. And I know I also noticed something. See that little gro see that little groove in the windshield? That is the the um, solo windshield wiper blade right in the center of the windshield. They actually molded the winch the windshield wiper. That's pretty cool. Uh, one more uh, one more repaint on the 017 Acura NSX in red. This thing is sharp looking. Literally. It's got a lot of pointy edges on it, like the nose especially. But I love that. Detail, got the grill, headlights, got the taillights even, despite having it in red. So it's hard to distinguish the headlight, the taillights from the paint. Nice set of dark gray rims. I like that. The Y5s. Awesome. Definitely beats the blue one. 
And now for the Holy Grail. The 017 4 GT. Not just the 017 4 GT, but the Super 017 4 GT. Check that out. This is the best Super this year. This is awesome. But I didn't find this today. I actually got this as a graduation present back in June. That's how long I've had this. It's been two months since I've had this car, but since I graduated high school a couple of months ago, my dad gave me this Super 4 GT as a graduation present. So that was really awesome. Along with the Super uh, TV series Batmobile that came out several months ago. But this is this was <laughs> very expensive. They're still very expensive online, but this is going to be the very first new model Super Treasure Hunt. Because that's never been done before. People could argue that the Toyota 2000 GT from 2013 was a new model Super Treasure Hunt, but technically it wasn't because it was supposed to be released the year before in the Hot Wheels Racing segment. But that got cancelled, so it was never uh, made. It was never put into production, but then the, the year after they, made, they put it in the main line and released it as a Super. So it's technically not a new model Super, but since this is a new model, it even says it right there. This is going to be the first as a super treasure hunt at the same time because usually they release the super of a new casting maybe a year or two after it's released. But this is awesome. So this is going to be gobbled up for sure. The regular ones, definitely. Um, I didn't find that today, obviously. But I do have the super, which is obviously a lot better. But um, I'll still keep my eye out for the regular one if I see it. And man, this thunder is persistent. But it's a typical Florida thunderstorm, so it's inevitable here. And then uh, a couple more cars I found at CBS. They're a more big scale car that I always liked, but they're they come at a price. But um, I got these. Um, I think what what are they? One forty third scale, one thirty six scale. Um, model cars that they have at CVS for six dollars. They usually have them on a on a tray or a shelf with several uh, rows in it, but let me zoom out a little bit more. So uh, I got this awesome Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Pretty cool. This is the JDM version because it's a right hand drive car. See look at the deep look at the detail in there. Just look at that. It's got the, it's got the instrument panel detailed and the center console and the steering wheel is even detailed. You've got the stick shift right there. That's pretty cool. And then you got I got briefcases in the back seat in pretty much every one of these cars that they make. Because I think these are auto arts, right? Oh Kin, Kin Kinsmart? Kinsmart? But I noticed that on all the, on most of their models they always put two briefcases in the back seats. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Very well detailed. I've always liked these. But they take up a lot of space, though. They're not like Hot Wheels, where you can easily store them and display them. But they're cool. And then one more, I got the BMW M3 Coupe. It's pretty awesome. Man, did you hear that? Crazy. This is pretty awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice cracked. My voice is still cracking. I'm hoping for the day where it'll actually stop cracking. But yeah, anyway. Here's the interior of the Beamer. Pretty cool. There's no uh, stickers, no painted, or no uh, stickers like on the Lancer. So I think those are stickers that they put in there. But it's just all molded. Pretty cool. It's awesome. So there you have it. That was my haul for early August. 
And yet again, hang on, before I leave, see there's some more <laughs> briefcases in the back. But uh, yeah, there you have it. My NK slash Kindsmart haul. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Take care and happy collecting.